our classes will be divided into two groups for new for the different cohorts. So one of the suggestions we have is using the class that you're dealing with, maybe it's your period one class, go to your dashboard in HAPRA, and then you're gonna go over here to groups and you're gonna say new groups. So here we have, we're naming it cohort A. Okay, now we're gonna add some students. So of course, because it's brilliant, it's gonna be alpha to order. So I'm gonna take my students and I'm gonna add that group. Okay, now I'm going to add a second group. This is gonna be my cohort B. So I'm gonna go and select, I think I went down to 18. So now I'm selecting these students who be my cohort B. What's great about that is now I can go out of my groups. I can see the two groups that I have, my different cohorts. And now I can actually see the color in my dashboard. I can see the students who are in cohort B and the students who are in cohort A. I can also sort from them up here. I can, um, I can simply uh, choose these different boxes and I'd be able to see all my students both in uh, highlights or workspace. But now even, in, even nicer is when I go to workspace and I create a workspace for my students, I'm gonna choose that group of students. And now even better is when I go to students and groups, it defaults my entire class, but now I can also move group one here, group room two, and wango bango, you have your cohorts ready to go in your workspace.